Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from uh, integrals utilizing the properties of uh, uh, beta and gamma functions, right? So in this lecture, I uh, will solve this uh, very important uh, integral uh, which is 0 to 2 and the integrand is x times 8 minus x cube raised to 1 over 3. So let us call this integral as i, right? So let us uh, first see the uh, list of results which are going to be used uh, while solving uh, this important integral. So viewers, uh, we have already solved a lot of problems related to beta and gamma functions uh, in our channel and uh, in this uh, lecture we'll see this integral. So let us quickly see the results which are going to be used uh, to solve this integral. So the first, uh, the first step is to use this uh, definition of beta function that is beta m comma n is given by the integral 0 to 1 t raised to m minus 1 and then we have 1 minus t raised to n minus 1 where we have m and n are greater than 0. So this is the important uh, definition uh, which is used in this integral right okay now let us see the second result so the second result is the euler's uh, reflection formula which is gamma of n then we have gamma of 1 minus n is equal to pi divided by sine n pi where this n is uh, it lies between 0 and 1 right and the third result is gamma of n plus 1 is given by uh, n factorial right whenever n is a positive integer and the fourth result is gamma of n uh, n plus 1 is given by n times gamma of n right when n is positive and n is not an integer so these are the four important results which are used in solving this integral. So let us first make the uh, use of substitution method. So here I uh, will take x cube. This x cube is equal to 8 times t where t is our new variable, right? So x can be written as 8t raised to 1 over 3. So now uh, 8 can be written as 2 cube and here we have t and this is 1 over 3. So now we can uh, cancel this 3 and 3. So we have 2 and then we have t raised to 1 over 3. Right. So x is uh, equal to uh, 2t raised to 1 over 3. So now uh, let us differentiate uh, this x with respect to t. So dx over dt is equal to 2 times the derivative of t raised to 1 by 3 is 1 over 3 t raised to 1 over 3 minus 1 using the power rule and then we have 2 by 3 t raised to minus 2 by uh, 3 right. So now uh, we can write uh, dx is equal to 2 by 3 t raised to minus 2 by 3 and dt. Okay, now see here the uh, limits of integration vary from x is equal to 0 uh, to x is equal to 2, right? So when x is equal to 0, then the value of t can be obtained uh, from this relation that is x cube is equal to 8t, right? So here uh, we have uh, 0 cube is equal to 8t. So 0 is equal to 8t. So a t is equal to 0 by 8. That is equal to 0, right? So when x is 0, t is equal to 0. When x is 2, that is the upper limit. 
so we have 2 cube is equal to 8 times t 2 cube is 8 that is equal to 8 t 8 and 8 get cancelled so we are left with 1 right so when x is 2 t is equal to 1 so now we can uh, write this integral i in terms of t right so we have 0 to 2 so we have 0 to 1 here we have 0 here we have 1 then for x we can write uh, 2t raised to 1 over 3 and then we have 8 minus x cube x cube is 8t and then we have 1 over 3 and dx is our 2 by 3 then we have t raised to minus 2 by 3 and here we have dt right okay now we can write it as 0 to 1 2 t raised to 1 over 3 and see here we have t here also we have t so the bases are same so exponents get added so here we have 1 over 3 plus minus 2 by 3 right and then we have 2 by 3 here and then we have 8 minus 8 t so we can take 8 common so we have 8 1 minus t and here we have the exponent 1 over 3 so here we can write 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 over 8 right so here we have dt now 8 uh, raised to 1 over 3 is the uh, cube root of 8 the which is 2 right so here we have 2 so now we can write this integral as 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 8 over 3 8 over 3 can be taken outside the integral we have 0 to 1 then we have t raised to 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 which is minus 1 over 3 and then we have 1 minus t raised to 1 over 3 right so finally uh, this integral is reduced to uh, this integral by making uh, this substitution so now uh, let us convert this integral into this form that is the beta function right so we can now write i as 8 over 3 then we have integral 0 to 1 t raised to minus 1 by 3 right so uh, minus 1 over 3 it can be written as 2 by 3 minus 1 because 2 by 3 minus 1 is minus 1 over 3 and then we have 1 minus t raised to 1 by 3 now 1 by 3 uh, should be expressed as n minus 1 so here we have 4 by 3 minus 1 right and here we have dt so now this integral is exactly similar to this one right so we have 0 to 1 0 to 1 then here uh, the variable is t t raised to 2 by 3 minus 1 m minus 1 1 minus t 1 minus t raised to n minus 1 and 4 by 3 minus 1 so comparing this integral with this one the value of m is 2 by 3 and the value of n is 4 by 3 right and both these values are greater than uh, 0 so we can now write i as 8 by 3 and beta function of m comma n m is 2 by 3 then we have 4 over 3 so now we have to find the value of uh, this function that is beta function beta of 2 by 3 comma 4 by 3 now here uh, we have mentioned only four results but uh, there is one more result important result which is used uh, in this integral and uh, uh, we can uh, name it as the, the fifth uh, formula so here we have beta of m comma n is equal to gamma m gamma n divided by gamma of m plus n right so this is the fifth result uh, which is useful in integrating uh, this function from 0 to 2 
so now this expression can be written with the help of this result so we have 8 by 3 then gamma of 2 by 3 gamma of 4 by 3 then we have gamma of 2 by 3 plus 4 by 3 right so i is now equal to 8 by 3 then we have here gamma of 2 by 3 and gamma of 4 by 3 can be written as gamma of 1 plus 1 over 3 right and divided by gamma of 2 plus 4 is 6 6 over 3 is 2 so we have gamma of 2 right so now this is 8 by 3 gamma of 2 by 3 gamma of 1 plus 1 over 3 so here I will make use of this result right that is uh, gamma of n plus 1 so n is uh, 1 over 3 and here we have 1 so n plus 1 that is n times gamma of n so we have 1 over 3 gamma of 1 over 3 and gamma of 2 uh, can be written uh, with the help of this result we have already used this result uh, and this result so gamma of n plus 1 so gamma 2 can be written as gamma of 1 plus 1 that is equal to 1 factorial that is 1 right so here we have 1 so now simplifying it uh, we have 1 over 3 here 8 over 3 so this is 8 over 9 right 3 3 is a 9 and gamma of 1 by 3 and gamma of 2 by 3 right so now uh, we are left with this result so now we'll use uh, this result which is also known as Euler's reflection formula so here uh, we can write 8 by 9 gamma of 1 by 3 and gamma of 2 by 3 can be written as 1 minus 1 over 3 right so we have gamma of n gamma of 1 minus n right n is uh, 1 over 3 and which is obviously uh, it lies between 0 and 1 so 1 by 3 lies between 0 and 1 right so n is 1 over 3 so here we have 8 by 9 and this expression is now equal to pi divided by sin n pi so we have pi divided by sin n pi n is 1 over 3 so we have pi by 3 so this is 8 pi and here we have 9 sin pi by 3 is sin 60 degrees which is square root of 3 over 2 right so taking 2 to the numerator we have 2 times 8 pi that is 16 pi divided by 9 times square root of 3 so viewers the value of this integral is uh, given by uh, 16 pi divided by uh, 9 times square root of 3.